wanted to try to make it even quicker or just listen to your body, do with your speed, really listen. Since we're going to fill this with henna and even it's rainy season but we still try to catch a sunny movement in Hoi An and come all the way to the beach to shoot a workout. So today I'm going to share with you a cardio workout to give you more energy and also burn some more calories and some fat on your body. So if you're ready to try your mat and let's begin. Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to come all the way to on four position. Open your arms, shoulder apart and your leg hip width apart. Now pull the belly button in, put your shoulders far away from your ears. Imagining that you have two eyes on the elbow here, rotate to face each other. We're going to warm up a little bit just by one movement and then come back. Inhale down, shoulders and exhale, lift your shoulder up and down and lift. And three, two and last one. Alright, and now I want to move a little bit forward to the beginning of the mat, lengthen your legs. So we, we come to full plank here, engage your core and now from here, keep your feet and the knees together, inhale and knee to your elbow to the other side, engage your core as much as possible and I want you to speed it up as quick as you can, so keep breathing here with your own breath and a couple more times here, just really engage your core, shoulders on top of your wrist here, keep breathing, don't hold your breath and 9, 8, for each count I try to do 4 movement for both sides but I wanted to try to make it even quicker or just listen to your body do with your speed really listen so keep breathing and five four engage your core as much as possible three two and last one and slowly come to tripods take a little bit rest here inhale deep with your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready, I want you to put your forearms down to the mat, shoulders on top of your elbows here. Now, inhale and lift your one leg to the back and lengthen your leg here, engage your core, lift it up just above the hips here. Start to make a little pulse here. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then knee to chest around your spine and lengthen. 10 times with your own breath. So exhale and inhale, lengthen. Come back, engage your core as much as possible and try to do it as quick as you can so pull the belly button in and seven six five four and get your car as much as possible here two and last one and slowly bring your knee down now lengthen your opposite leg dorsal flex with your foot and lift it up make a little pause again and nine eight seven six five keep the shoulders far away from the ears three two and one slowly bend your knee to your chest again and then lengthen now when you bend your knee right your spine keep the chin to the chest and use all the energy to push it, your leg all the way to the back so keep breathing here and seven six five engage your core as much as possible four three two and last one and lengthen and slowly bring your knees down come to tripods shake your hips rotate your wrist if you need to and then reverse and now next movement I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your arms again shoulders far away from your ears and eyes on the elbows now inhale and come to the reverse V now inhale soften one knee and try to lengthen your leg up one leg up here hips facing down to the mat and get your core now inhale shift away to the front knee bend and then lengthen and then come back so I'm going to do it a couple more times with your own breath pull the belly button in and seven now if you can try to make a little bit quicker six and five engage your core as much as possible when you shift your weight to the front shoulders on top of your wrist and then lengthen come back try to lengthen your leg all the way towards the back that's the way pulling your leg away from your hips here and three two belly button all the way in and last one and slowly bring it down, shake your legs a little bit and then to the other side, shift your weight to the front and lengthen all the way up, contract your pelvic floor muscles here and pull the belly button in and seven, try to speed it up if you can, six and five, and get your core as much as possible, four, belly button in, three, two, 
my last one lengthen and slowly bring it down come to try pose now i wanted to rotate the wrist and then reverse all right now the next challenge i want to allow yourself to put your forearms down again shoulders on top of your elbows now hold forearms and only so your hands down to the mat here engage your core and then lengthen your legs pull the belly button and open your legs even apart now start to step your legs your feet towards the center and then to the outside so keep breathing and 10 9 speed it up as quick as you can i wanted to try your best here but also listen to your body do it at your speed so keep breathing and five four three two engage your core to support your lower back and last one and slowly come to try pose inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth shrug your hips a little bit and you can rotate your wrist all right another nice movement lie all the way down on your belly so make a pillow under your forehead open your legs if it's apart here i want you to inhale and try to lift both arms and legs up at the same time and speed it up and again if you are a beginner or if you feel it's easier for you you can just always lift only your legs up without moving your arms so just keep breathing put your shoulders far away from your ears and now we're going to do it together 10 times i wanted to do it as quick as you can in 10 counts inhale lift and exhale down in 10 9 8 pull the belly button in and always put your shoulders down towards the hips here 6 exhale every time you go down 7 <laughs> 4 mess up with the number again very good keep breathing and 3 2 and last one and slowly bring your torso down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right very good now i want you to allow yourself to put your forearms in front of the chest again tuck the feet here and lift your hips up first and now try to lengthen your legs and get your core here now slowly shift your hips up and then shift your weight to the front again inhale lift and exhale down pull the belly button in and lift and down so we want to try to do it quicker a little bit as much as you can in 10 cows so 10 9 always lengthen your neck so look down towards the middle of your fingers when you shift your weight to the front and look towards your finger your toes when you lift your hips up in five four three two and last one and slowly bend your knees down come to try pose again shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth rotate your wrist if you need to and then reverse another next movement i wanted to allow yourself to sit along the mat here okay bend your knees close your elbows all the way towards the back engage your core now don't push your hands so hard on the floor here i want you to just keep it here like a thing to help you keep balance now pull the belly button in chest open and engage your core as much as possible lift your heels up now you want to inhale and start to run with your leg here keep breathing lean backward a little bit more now if you feel like you want more support you can even put your whole forearms down to the mat and put your shoulders far away from your ears here so 10 try to run a little bit quicker like we're running here but engage your core and there's no um pressure on your knees here at all when you do this so keep the same angle on your knees and 10 9 go a little bit quicker and do a precise movement go all the way all the range of movement here and five four three lengthen your neck look towards the front and last one slowly bring your knees down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth the shoulder far away from your ears again lift your leg up to 90 degrees dusty flex with your feet lengthen come back to the other side engage your core as much as possible and let's do it a little bit quicker i know you can do this so just try to push yourself a little bit more but also you want to listen to your our body so i always have to say that you just do it with your own speed and and i want to make sure that you feel a little bit more challenging than normal and that's good enough so keep breathing and 10 nine eight seven six lower your legs a little bit for more challenge with your whole course and stabilize your hips here 
Only your legs are moving. And three, two, and last one slowly. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. Shake your hips a little bit more. Inhale. And exhale. And when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to come to four, one four position again. Now, I want you to inhale and lift your knees up and bring your hips from left to right. So engage your core as much as possible. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Pull the belly button in, shoulders on top of your wrist. Four. Very good. Almost done. 3, 2, and last one. Beautiful. And bring it back to the center. Come to try pose again. Shake your hips. Inhale deep into your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale. And when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to lift up. And now from here, I want you to allow yourself to keep the hips and your knees together here. And slowly inhale, tuck your feet. Lift your knees up. Engage your core. Open your knees wider. And then bring your knees just above the mat and then lift it up engage your core here keep breathing pull the belly button in i'm gonna do it 10 times with your own breath and try to make a little bit quicker than normal here so keep breathing and nine eight pull the belly button in seven six shoulders on top of your wrist and soften your elbows here four three two and last one slowly close your knees and bring your knees down Come to try pose one more time. Rotate your wrist if you need to. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. Beautiful. Now, the next movement. I want you to allow yourself to come back to on four position here. Tuck your feet. And now slowly engage your core. Bend your elbows down. And bring it back. So I want to do it 10 times with your own breath. Try to engage your core. And go a little bit deeper if you can. But really listen to your wrist here. So keep breathing, pull the belly button in, and seven, six, five, four, belly button all the way in, three, feel your whole shoulders and arms are working here, and last one, and slowly bring it back, engage your core as much as possible, now move your knees even more, lengthen, come to full blind first here, and now from here, shoulders on top of your wrist, now from here, I want you to bend your knees, so just keep your knees here, Lift your knees up and engage your core. Bring your arms down, hold it here. And a couple more times with your own breath. I mean, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. And five more times. I want you to hold it a little bit more. And three, two, and then slowly lie all the way down the belly. And shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. All right. Now the next movement, I want you to slowly bring your arms along your body here. Lift your torso up and lengthen your neck. Look down to the mat. Now inhale and lift your legs up at the same time. Open, come back. Engage your core as much as possible here. And pull the belly button in. So make sure you engage your core. If you want to make it easier, you can always press your head on your hands. And only your legs are moving. But make sure you keep breathing and keep stabilizing your whole torso and your hips here. So. Inhale and exhale, come back. Try to open your arms a little bit wider if you can. And feel like we're flying here. Just about the beach or the ocean. I mean, so keep breathing. And five, four, three, two. And the last one, slowly bring your arms down, legs down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready for the next movement, I want you to bring your hands over your head bring your arms up palms facing each other here inhale and start to pump your opposite arm and leg here stabilize your torso squeeze your thighs squeeze your booty muscles and really pull the belly button towards the spine to engage your core to support your lower back and to help stabilize your torso more so arms pumping go a little bit further make a larger range of movement here and five four three two and last one slowly bring it down and come to try pose inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth shake your hips a little bit and inhale and exhale and when you're ready i want you to sit up so 
sit along the mat here and then bend your knees here I wanted to inhale, use one leg to hug your knee to your chest your hands to hug one knee to your chest and lengthen one leg to the front slowly rise your on your back so exhale reach and to the other side I'm gonna do it 10 times with your own breath and keep breathing 9 and I want you to speed it up keep out I'm gonna do twice and 7 6 lift your chest a little bit higher make sure you use your hand to support your neck if you need to and 4 3 2 and last one beautiful slowly bring your head down shake your hips and then press your feet down and lift your head up open your elbows wider shoulders far away from your ears pull the belly button in inhale and start to lift one knee to the chest and to your opposite side and couple more times with your own breath so every time you switch i want you to exhale through your mouth and come back and couple more times here very good keep breathing Lower back stick down to the mat and try to lift your chest up a little bit higher. I want you to inhale deeply and exhale. Lift and down and up and down. Very good. Keep breathing. And three more times. Stay with your own breath. Three, two, to the other side. And last one, to the other side. And slowly bring your head down. Hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale. Oops, and rotate your ankle a little bit here. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And now bring one leg up to the sky, dorsiflex flex with your foot and start to pump in your leg. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And to the other side, dorsiflex. flex. A little pulse again. Squish in the thighs and hug your knees to your chest. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. And slowly lean on one side to sit up. Now lengthen your spine, open your arm to the side and start to rotate your torso to one side and come back to the other side and do it five more times each side here. We stretch a little bit before we finish the workout today and it's really important because we, work, we just do a very intense workout. So I want you to stay tuned and try to keep doing it for a few more minutes before we change to the other video. So keep breathing and three, two, and last one to the other side and back to the center rotate your wrist and then reverse and one more time and then reverse and then dorsif like flex with your feet your wrist here and slowly lift it up and down and lift and down fingers down and lift and down and one more time here bring your hands down rotate the shoulders fully to four directions and reverse inhale deep into your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth now articulate your spike and call and then change your chest, roll each vertebra at a time. Now articulate again, pull the belly button in for more support and then round your spine. And one last time here, hold it here for three, chest open, engage your core and last one, round your spine and hold it here for three, two and one slowly bring it back and shake your legs, shake your whole body here, start to rotate your head around your neck four to four directions and two rounds in total now reverse and one more round and back to the center and that's the workout today thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed it and if you are new to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell to see notification every day when i upload new video see you tomorrow bye